Hello, this is J9LP. It's been a while. It has life certainly has been a while. Uh, again, I've been working and it's not any of that. But getting prepared to move work there sadly is a bit more time has been spent doing that and getting the work done and talking about sorting out the project and that at home. And I haven't had any time to do in this video anyway! Enough of that! Last time on Lunar Night we are on the well, we named ourselves apparently, and my name is Jay, but really the character is actually the pollution. He's the dark swordsman on the mission. Um, what this mission is? Well, we'll find out more about it somewhere uh, as we continue the game. Oh my gosh, and wearing these strange balls, I'm just trying to remember what the buttons are. Yes, that's the sword. The dash. Double mind things and gets us up. Oops, lock on my finger. Yes, you can lock on folks, you can lock the sword. Uh, I'm only doing this because I've played this before and I hope you're next. Yes, by the way, these. Oh, here we go. It's a trap ish esque type thing. Another nice thing about this is um, uh, this weapon sword has a pretty wide area of attack and you can pretty much hit both, um, uh, both two enemies three or even four at the same time. Um, uh, Explain something to us about that folding crystal taking over there. It's a sun crystal. Sun crystals are formed from your solar energy stored deep within the earth. You can replenish your life just by touching one. Yep, that's all you can up to it. And these little ink things just come out in a limited amount of time and, uh, until your energy is full. Just got an accessory. An accessory is a piece of equipment that lets certain effects to your abilities. Once you're equipped on your body, just going steady near it. Um, you're sure there's an accessory that you equip on your own, but beyond that, you can equip accessories from on your head, your upper body, and your lower body. So, hat, shirt, pants. Um, <laughs> you can change accessories on the accessories screen up the end. Why did you try an accessory you just got? Well, to do that, you simply start going to the accessory screen, which is that one right here, and try on your item. You'll get a short explanation of what it is and what it's pointing down there. And uh, obviously, it will tell you that you will add two points to your vitality when you wear it. And interesting thing about that is that. When you get out of there, you notice that your life bar is dropped. That was basically because it's filled up the last unmarked bit of energy. But now I've got two points on there, it's dropped. So it's pretty much a good idea to unmark. Uh, finish yourself after that. Just do it. We can do it here. Um, by the way, yes, it's a boss. So what a great big blue sign saying boss means that. You're going to be taking on the boss! I wish I could level up before I do that. Nah. Anyways, I'm a bit out of practice, I think. Didn't 
takes a bit too long. Anyways, what's going on here? Oh, good timing, Jay! What the hell is that? Oh, it's mad! I have no idea that Thing would be the gatekeeper. I think it would be wiser to choose another entrance. Let's go up and search for one, shall we? No thanks. Even say so, what the hell about I don't know I told you. If someone gets in my way, I take him down. Oh, come on! Hey, wait a sec! Yes, we're going into our first boss battle! Yikes! I'm not... So, this lime type thing has projectile attacks, and uh, it will leap at you at a certain point, and you also have to have the ship, yeah? We'll also, I'm gonna uh, slash you out that one thing about it. Let me close like that. Make sure you know right the way. But one thing that I'm good about that is if it doesn't matter. Come on, do it. If he misses, he will open himself wide open, which means you can do more damage. You can kind of do damage to him anyway. Nice. Get off! Anyways, as I was just saying, you can do damage to him anyway, but yikes. Get off! When he's a more wide open like that, you can do even more damage. Yeah, miss mate. Remove. No, no, no. no. Still hasn't resolved his true power, that look. Why don't you work with me, Jay? If the two of us join forces, we have no problem in rescuing the Margaret's prisoners. It's pointless. They won't even fight back against the vampires. But we'll save them accomplish. I only fight for one person, and that's me. She never leaves me alone. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now, you remember in the last kind of bow tie games, you had the kind of annoying um, uh, um, uh, helper um, uh, who was usually called the 
some while ago. Well, this is a mark of her former in laws game, she calls herself Alice Buckwheel. Who she is, really? What is it now, Sunflower Girl? Oh, come on, Jay! That's been such a sour puss! And my name is Alice, alright? Why don't you write it down or something? You never thought you'd get me memory back, sheesh! Anyways, don't let the gatekeeper's gone, so back up over the world, yeah? Hey, that's your prerogative. My sole objective is to hunt you down. If you're that eager to help me, I'm not about to complain. Anyway, what do you want? Well, whatever! It's about this Margrave you're about to face. From well, what I can tell, he's on a different level than the other boss in front of him. I'm always important that he's a level up and all, but isn't it about time you pack up your weapon and stuff too? And how do I do that? Professor Sheridan about it. I know he's a bit of a kooky character, but when it comes to alchemy, he's an absolute genius. We all have a hate to cook you some enough for you. Professor Sheridan. Sheridan, I can't say she's properly nowadays. Free takes. I've marked his location on your map. If you're gonna go and see him, be sure to tell him I said hi, okay? Good luck out there. By the way, um, uh, we'll see why, how he contacts you in a minute. Alright, Nero, let's head to Sheridan's bench. Yeah. Alright. Oh, sorry, I'm not oh, doing the voice when his voice is there already. Stop it. Hey! Later. Anyway, so, the map. And where is Professor Sheridan's Mancione? May I help you? And, uh, well, she'll actually become more important in the day. She's just a maid at the moment, but there is something special about her. But, oh, well, I'm going to that soon and again. Anyways, you, it's at least you to recognize him. No, rather. No, it's impossible. She can't be alive. Besides, on closer inspection, she looks nothing like her anyway. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. My name is Jay. Some flower gave us Stel. said me. I'm sorry, but the professor isn't seeing me just at the moment. If you could kindly excuse yourself, please. Not so fast. I need more power. Power to defeat that tyrant. I'm sorry, lady, but I'll force away with me if I must. Ow! Jeez. You know quite a bit about alchemy, Professor Sheridan. So you know Alice. I tell you, no one ever, ever came from being around that girl. We can talk about her later. Right now, there's something I want to show you. This could this be the legendary Dark Sword? Wherever did you find this? I can't say for sure. Well, I heard it was excavated from some moon ruins. That's what Sunflower Girl said anyway. Now I say, this sword was created in an age of antiquity by the Dark Tribe. However, after all these years, it seems to have lost its inherent abilities. Is there any way to restore its power? Hmm. With my vast knowledge of alchemy, it should be an impossible task. But to power up this weapon, we need to gather the appropriate materials. For this to work, we will need four parts of iron and two parts of silver. That's your cupboard. If you want to power up your sword, come back here after you get the materials. Tell them won't be easy to locate, but be vigilant. Take it slower and you'll find them. 
Feel free to stop by if you need anything else. I might just be able to help you. I'll make sure Camilla has now knows all about you too. Camilla? My mate. You met her earlier? She's working for a few, shall we say, issues. So please forgive me if she's a little rigid with you. Just make sure you're a bit more quiet next time, okay? I don't think these old nerds could handle another entrance like that. I'll try my best. Well then, I'll be speaking back to my research. Let us meet again. Let us meet again. I will promise my best to kill again. Yes, 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 about those materials and other stuff, or we'll be finding more about that in the next video. Bye.